It's another video from Aussie's Roadball. But you got the banana collection. All right, everyone. Welcome back. Trying to get some July content created because I am scrambling to fill the July month. I really need a break, but you know what? I'm committed. You know, like one thing about being a content creator, you just don't want to skip a beat, you know, no matter what, even though I went on a long vacation all the way to the other end of the country, probably closer to uh, Russia than I was to Florida. But, uh, you know, I kept it going and I still want to. So with that, Welcome back. Thanks for joining me on another cool toy, a toy which I have no idea if I actually have this uh, toy. I hope I don't. If I do, this is going to be a double. It will be uh, available somewhere, whether I give it to an auction company or just wheel and deal and trade it. Who the hell knows? But you know what? Before we get rolling, get comfortable. Kick back in your comfy, cozy chair, your lazy boy, barco lounger stool, Whatever it is, bench, kitchen, work, wherever you're at, and uh, stir your coffee, clank it, or pour that nice glass of wine. Maybe it's just a white Zinfin down because we're going back to the 80s. And uh, get a snack on hand. Focus, pay attention, because we're going to look at this Marisan Friction a Space Tank with Sparking. I have several tanks like these, including the pullback one, and they all have like that same weird muddied uh, wash that almost looks like a watercolor vibe on the box. This is no different. This actually looks like the, uh, whatchamacallit, the uh, X, the rear X7 rocket box uh, with the original box that I stumbled across. And I don't know, maybe it's this textured cardboard isn't like the... Uh, the smoothest and it just sort of absorbs it's it's tough to tell what causes but anyway i am not sure that i have this like i said and maybe this is a rare box because i just don't recall seeing this box too often i do recall seeing the paint the 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 the, blah, the tank more than the box but anyway it's this astronaut cruising on the typical alien landscape look at that you can see cracks it's so much more pronounced when it's close up and he's on this alien hellscape. Not much going on around here other than this uh, station here with an antenna. So there's some cracking, but it's intact. Looks like they may have glued it on the inside. Here's your side. This definitely a 50s. Missing a little bit there. The nice font, though. The forward-leaning, you know, kind of a cinematic, spacey, uh, retro-modern now font from the... 50s. Here's the inside. Is there anything in there? Nope. Just some packing. Nothing exciting in there. The uh, chipboard, as they call it, not corrugated. But it's uh, pretty rare. And uh, could be early 60s, too. That's a possibility. But I don't know. I don't know. Those colors seem 50s to me. But the tank itself seems 60s. So who the hell knows? Anyway, the uh, yeah, I'm, I'm thinking based on the colors, could be 60s. But here is your friction tank. You know, what's cool is they put this fin back here, and this is like a gel uh, see-through, translucent, and the sparking would be here if there's any flint left, and you would see it through the fin, which is kind of unusual. You don't normally have that, you know, kind of huge apparatus enclosing the, the sparking. It's usually a thin gel or an opening altogether. So, you know, it'd be tough for the light of a spark to bleed through this thick plastic, but that's where it is, you know, and I do this, it's gonna be near impossible, but what you can see, the flap over the, the flint or the wheel, see that moving in there? I have a feeling that the, um, the flint is gone. So let me just kind of fly over this thing. See the guy in there? You know, this is when they went to kind of like the planar faces. That's why I'm thinking maybe this is like earlier 60s. <clears throat> it's a little too plain. The 50s had a little more detail. And the colors weren't like this primary blue and deep red. <clears throat> but I could be wrong. It wouldn't be the first time. Or would it? Anyway, this is the V7. Isn't that the uh, 
what the Nazis used, uh, their rocket program in Germany. I wish this was more of a crank flywheel toy. Then, uh, then I could really crank up for the for the uh, sparking. Yeah, it's got like buttons, little uh, pockets over there. Uh, kind of plain though. But I think this pressing was used on like a multitude of toys. So that's the tank. And as far as it's almost impossible to get good traction on this super smooth surface. So all I could do is rev it like this. You can see the wheel. But like I said, the spark is almost like non-existent. I don't know how much you would see through that thick gel. You might see some of it, but... And that's pretty much your uh, friction space tank with sparking action. I don't know. It's uh, frustrating when you can't run the toy. Like, I wish this move was a little... The surface was a little uh, grippier. I'll have to get some kind of grip pad to put on here. So this way, when I have these toys that require a lot of grip, they'll be able to be demoed a little bit better. But in the meantime, uh, that's pretty much it. If uh, you like it, as always, I re uh, ask you and remind you, thumb up the video. And uh, don't forget to share it. And uh, if you're not subscribed, please consider subscribing. It would be greatly appreciated as well. So with that, thanks as always for your time, my friends. And I'll talk to you later.